How's it going guys? So Blender 2.9, which is currently in alpha, has made making procedural wood so easy. In the past, it would take a massive node tree, but now to get a passable, good looking wood, certainly not the most professional or most photorealistic wood, but if you're trying to make it procedurally, it's super, super easy now, but you're going to need Blender 2.9. Right here, if you just Google Blender daily builds, it'll bring you to this page and you just download the alpha. I already have it downloaded, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. But just for a preview, see these little blocks, these little things? This is the wood we're gonna be making. So, I mean, it's super cool. I've added it to quite a few of my projects already, and it's with the addition of a new little piece in the noise texture. So let's get some geometry and start doing it. Before we get into that, I do want to let you know on my Patreon, every month I release 10 new procedural materials a month. They're incredible. They're super detailed. They're created by Syncretic 3D. You can check that out along with all the other stuff that's on the Patreon linked in the description. All right, so I'm just working with this. The beauty of procedural materials is you can just kind of slap any material in any geometry. So I'm demonstrating it here on this guy. Let's hop on over to the shading tab and let the magic happen. So I hit the period key just to zoom in on this guy. I'm going to click new and then I'm going to go ahead and get in a color ramp. So right there. And we'll plug his color into the base color and get the two colors that get the two or however many colors you want your wood to be consisting of. What's very important is picking the color for your wood. If you have unrealistic colors, your wood's not going to look real. So what I did was I went to adobe.color.com. It's an amazing color palette website. And I just went in here and I'm just gonna pick this guy right here. I'm gonna pick these two colors. So a light one and of course a much darker one. So I'm gonna go here and all you have to do is just click on the color and that hex code is copied. And then I'm just gonna click on the black one here and paste it into the hex. So now we have this, and then of course we're gonna get that much darker color right next to it. Copy that hex and paste it into the white section. So let's go ahead and get that noise. NOI noise, plug the factor there. And as you can see, we have this new thing called roughness. Now, if you have the Node Wrangler add-on enabled, I'm gonna hit Control T. It adds a quick mapping node and texture coordinate. And I'm gonna use the object coordinate, that making it evenly placed on any other um, geometry we add this texture to. So let's make the wood super, super easy. First, bring that detail up to 16, makes it a fine grain. And then to make it even more fine grain, we're going to bring that roughness to right about here. So now we're getting something that you used to get with the musgrave, but now it's added to our noise. So we already have a good like sandpaper material already, but let's go ahead and get this distortion up to something like 0 0.7. And then we, now we have a little bit of distortion. I'm going to bring this dark in a little bit. And then we're going to bring the scale down to something over here. So I'm going to bring the scale pretty far up like this. And then what I'm going to do to really make the wood and sell it, because it really doesn't look like wood yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the scale in here on the mapping node on the Y. Depending on the geometry you're doing, you're going to want to squeeze or, you know, squish the size of whatever axis you're doing. So you might want to play it around if you're playing with a plank or whatnot. And now that we squished it in, it looks like wood. And of course, now it just looks like an image of wood. So we do need to add a little bit of bumping here, which is with a bump node. So we'll get this bump node here. So B-U-M, bump, and we'll plug the normal into the normal. And we'll plug in the noise texture factor into the height. Now it's way too much, so we're gonna bring that strength down, something like this. And now we have something that looks like a pretty good wood and whatever kind of wood you're working with, the different strength of the bump. But now you have a fairly passable wood really quickly. If you're showing client a concept or something like that, it's certainly not the most photorealistic wood. We can bring in that color even more, but it really works really well, especially if you're not absolutely zoomed in on it. It's a very, very good wood that you can get very quickly in concept different ideas. Thank you to Blender 2.9 and this wonderful roughness output. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you learned something.